My name is Kiki Reinhardt, and I am a self-serving Christmas letter writer. And that is how I began my first meeting of Christmas Letter Writers Anonymous. This 12-step program has been a godsend to me. I only wish I found it before I wrote last year's Christmas letter. You see, as part of my program, I have to apologize to everyone I've offended because of my letter writing disease. And I also have to humble myself by reading out loud my most offensive Christmas letter. So, here you go, uh, the Reinhardt Christmas Letter, 2003. Dear family, friends, former family members, former friends I want to make sorry for choosing to no longer be our friends. Wow, this year has really flown by. I know, because I've been tracking it on my lovely diamond-studded 24 karat gold Rolex. One cold day last February, I called Scott at work to say I broke a nail. Being the thoughtful man that he is, he rushed home with the Rolex. It's certainly easier getting through an evening of giving cook orders with such a thoughtful man by my side. March saw the loss of a treasured family member. We are still in grief counseling over this. At $150 an hour, three times a week, our therapist is a miracle worker. After all, Ivana recommended him, so he must be good. Anyhow, we are comforted in knowing that Biffy has the best hand-carved, imported Italian marble headstone any hamster could want. April showers may bring May flowers, but for us, it brought a leak in the roof of our little home improvement project. No worries. Derek, our construction manager, said Pierre can order new fabric for the seats that were dampened in the home theater. Naturally, the little leak didn't hurt the natatorium, and with the ongoing water restrictions, it's nice to get a few free gallons added to the pool and spa. Gardner wasn't the happiest camper in May when we decided to have little Johnny's birthday party outdoors. Who knew ponies made such a mess? Anyhow, it was a lovely day, and as a party favor, all the children got to take home a saddle blanket for their ponies. What we'll do for Johnny's third birthday is beyond me. Scotty Pooh and I celebrated our wedding anniversary with a little cruise to Europe. It is amazing what they can put on a ship these days. Did you know that the more cabins you book, the better price you get? It's true. Just ask my cook, hairstylist, masseuse, nanny, and laundress. Mummy and Daddy were so enamored with the bathroom fixtures in their cabin that they bought the ship. Whew! July and August were stifling hot. At least that's what the staff told us when we checked in from the Hamptons. A lovely breeze blew just for us all summer. Little Buffy enjoyed her first yachting lessons while Junior and Johnny practiced putting on the backyard greens. Nothing says Labor Day like a barbecue in Kenny Bunkport. I must say I have never seen Laura looking happier. Babs and I rekindled our long-standing Scrabble championship. I must learn the proper etiquette for letting the president win. I trust you all received the e-photos from Halloween. As usual, Buffy and Junior won the best costume award at WSTY Academy for Overachievers. Vera stayed up until 3 a.m. sewing and suffered third-degree burns from the glue gun, but it was worth it to see the look on the faces of those store-bought costume contestants. November saw the Academy homecoming come and go. It's always a joy to reunite with old classmates, to catch up, trade business cards from plastic surgeons, and confirm that our kids are smarter and cuter than theirs. Once again, Junior was chosen by his class to be homecoming king, BMOC, and most likely not to bankrupt the family business upon inheritance. And here we are, December again. Where does the time go? Oh wait, let me check my Rolex. Scotty Pooh and I are humbled that our children's lists for Santa are selfless and scant. World peace, no more pesky neighborhood cats pooping in our flower beds and that every NFL franchise Daddy buys this year will have a winning season. We trust this letter will find each and every one of you wishing you were us. Do come see us if your travels bring you this way. 
the guest chateau is always open and the rates have never been cheaper. God bless us everyone. Kiki, Scotty Pooh, Junior, Buffy, and Johnny. Oh, P.S. You may be wondering what happened in January. That makes two of us. Needless to say, the New Year's party of Monaco, smashing.